but we have to just ignore, ignore I'm the one who's presenting a lot of the point. That's to the your line of argument is that something is so impossible or something so amazing. No, no, fine. I want you to, uh, I'm going to give you one uh, chance. I'm saying to you now, me talking about something metaphysical like heaven and hell is the same, has the same epistemic weight, and I'm going to say this to you right now, has the same epistemic weight as a quantum physicist talking about something which is happening on a subatomic level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refute me. I don't have a problem with that. Fine. So, just because you don't like something, don't aesthetic care. value judgments don't mean much to me. If you say, what well, in heaven, no. it's pathetic, this and that. No, no, no. no problem. It's on the ethical, moral... No, 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 but I'm just saying, just because something is seemingly no, no, no. unappetizing... I don't care about quantum physics. I don't care about logic or quantum yeah. physics. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I care about just general ethical, moral reasoning, which today, you'd be more than happy to talk about how you go strip by the scripture. So, on the same learning, when someone says, oh, you know, you're going to have these entities that have a soul, you have the free will in heaven, but... Why is, that, why is it logically uh, invalid? Tell me why it's logically no, invalid. It's not about being logically. It's so what's the problem? So, so, no problem. Uh, Alex, problem. let me tell you something. In the same way, please, yeah, oh, sorry, I apologize. Saying that men will get 72 virgins. Yes. What will women get? And let me tell you what they'll get. They'll get 72 men. Well, let me tell you something. Let me ask you a question. Do men and women desire the same things in this world? No, I'm not. What's your name, my friend? Oh, are you David, you, I'm David. David. How are you doing, my friend? You're right. You're looking good today, man. I saw you after you had your um, scuffle with, uh, down, <laughs> down the bottom there. Yeah. 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 So, no, no. What happened? Do men and women. Are all males the same? Are all females the same? No, I'm asking you a question. There is a, there is Don't answer. Right. A, please, do me, a, do me a favor, Alex. No, Try and answer questions right. because right now what you do is you answer questions with yes, questions. There are, there, are, there, are, there are similarities. There are some who, who seek the same sexual desires. There are no, some no, are, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not saying that there are. That's not my question. Well, of course there are. There are look, Alex, there you're, you're, Alex, yeah, Alex, yeah. 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 Alex, do me a favor. Look, because you, you've, 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 you've evaded. You've evaded. You're trying to tell us what a male and a female is. There is enough variance there to suggest that we don't really know. But Alex, what you've done there twice I've asked you a question like let me be, let's be fair to each other uh, please uh, uh, Alex please Alex well, you know. <laughs> listen to me you've asked me about five or six questions yeah and I've answered them very directly yeah no problem now I'm asking you just one or two and I, what I want from you is you to really consider what you're saying the first thing you said was that I don't feel comfortable exactly what I don't feel comfortable with this what that constitutes in philosophy is exactly an aesthetic value judgment so in other words because you see something and it's distasteful for you but hold on please that you're now willing to sideline it or invalidate it okay. now this is fallacious reasoning what I'm asking you is have you got any wait, hold on before you continue before because you go because you have to allow one question to be asked then you can answer it what I'm asking you is is there any way you can using your reasoning show us how the the precepts the concepts the descriptions of heaven as per the Quranic narrative is logically invalid can you do it well, I have a can you do it first? The fact that I should, when it suits you, or when it... Can, but can you do that? Can you do that? In certain circumstances, I should recognize my moral, ethical qualities, and then in some instances, I should completely ignore them, because their scripture is, you know, what we know, and we don't have the capacity to actually appreciate it, so we have to complete logic to See, the point... See, you, you haven't... You haven't answered my question. So, so going back to what you it's say, I'll give you an example. I'll give you a very Most things are stories in life. Exactly. Give Tell me the answer. Example. And you, you said yourself, we're going to be tweaked as we enter heaven to accept what it is for what it, what it is. We Alex, I don't, I don't know what so, you're saying so, right now. So, okay. so we, when we go to heaven, when we have these like 70 virgins. 72, according 70. to the hadith in Tirmidhi, which some muhaddithin have said is weak, but majority you say it's strong. Go ahead. You said they have soul. You said they are as like us as we are, but they don't have a free will except us. No, I, I didn't say this. I, I, okay, I, let me ask you another thing. I, no, hold on. I didn't say... No, because you just said yeah, something no, I didn't okay, say. That's not what you said. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's say I go to heaven, another female, Muslim female, goes to heaven. Yes. Is she going to be one of those 72? No. Why is that this... Because... No, no, no. She... No, hold on. That's different. Hold on. You've asked a question. Okay, if you want to ask a question, you have to, you have to wait for the response. The Hurul Ain described in the Quran, which are the, the virgins or whatever you want to call them, really, it's women. And the, the discussion's always been about women. But let me tell you something you didn't know. 
Let me tell you, I'm pretty sure you don't know this. Yeah, what do women get? Let me tell you something, uh, something yeah, interesting. Why you know everything? Pardon? Let me, let me, Why let, you know everything? I don't know everything. No, do you know, let me ask you a question, because here you've talked about وحور العين, as the Quran says, but what you haven't talked about is وغلمان. The, the Quran also talks about servant boys that will be created for the pleasure of women and men. Oh. Now, what, so what you've done is you've ignored that strategically, either out of ignorance or out of... Uh, no. Yes, out of... So yes, be it, a voice. No problem. Now I'm telling you. Be a voice so pleasure. if the question is, why is if, if your question was, why is it the case that men have servitude of a new creation of women, yeah, that are designed explicitly and exclusively for them, then the answer is that's not the case because actually women and men also get these ghilman who are servant boys who will serve them in a similar capacity as with the hur, the men. So the point here is actually based on ignorant premise. Taking a step back from the so-called equality discussion that you've tried to put forward. So even in heaven, there will continue to remain differences and not this kind of perfection where we are all the same. There's going to be females, what you we're going to have to, these differences, right? We're going to continue to have to free, free, free will. There will be differences, so, yes. So, there'll be, so if, they, if these differences continue to exist, surely at some point there's going to be a conflict. FBO, okay, FBO, Alex, FBO, listen to me carefully. Similar, Listen to me carefully. Society. Yeah, thank you. It thank you. It doesn't happen. Exactly. No one argues. They argue in speaker's corner. That's it. Alex, listen to me carefully. Why is there? How do you know? Here's my question. Here's my question. How do you know that such a concept as conflict exists? In heaven. Or? Here. Well, talk about. We saw it as you are afraid to die. No, no. Hold on. One person at a time. If you want to, you can ask. How do I know? I'll yes. Give you an example, right? You know, men, when it comes to like females, they compete. When it comes to resources, jobs, they compete. Okay. There is only one for one unless... What is co how do you define conflict? Well, there is like a, you know, a friction where you get to a point where there is a certain resource, like a bit of land. Okay. You want to protect your family. Disagreement. There's a tree with apples. No problem. There is a, there is, so, so it, Disagreement. Does to, it does come to resources, yeah? Okay. However... Not always. Some, no, How about ideas? In so, yeah, in, so, in some cases, it could be a, a, an abstract idea. It could okay, be like a fine. It could Excellent. Be a conflict in Excellent. Do you know, Plato... He was the first major philosopher that I know of that he referred to a concept of universals. Universals. Now, why, what are universals? Universals are usually in language, they're abstract nouns and or any noun, which a common noun. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. If I say white, white, what is white? is something which shares a common characteristic, isn't it? So for example, if I grab a pearl and put it into my hand, and I ask you to describe the color of the pearl, you'll say it's a white pearl. Likewise, if I point to a cloud, and it's not necessarily a very heavy cloud, and I ask you to describe the color of that cloud, you'll say it's white. Thus, the pearl and the cloud have something in common. This is what Plato referred to as universals. We know I asked you about what is conflict. You said conflict is where you have disagreement, whether it be on resources or abstract ideas, etc. Why? Because you have been able to identify a common characteristic between different things, entities which exist in isolation. And you've been able to call that thing, which is a universal, yes. conflict, which is in English language a common noun. Now let me tell you something, educate you something. Did you know that Plato, the same philosopher that really understood this idea of universals, which he referred to as ideals, or he made the land or a mode of forms. He's, he also outlined the fact that those universals are in fact, those universals are in fact metaphysical in nature. Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Let me what do you mean by that? I tell, I'll tell him. Sorry, yeah. I have to tell the guy what I mean by that. I have to. Yeah, yeah. I have to. No, no, no. I'll tell, I'll tell you what I mean by that. Let me tell you what I mean by that. If it's metaphysical in nature, it does not exist in the real world. Thus, white or triangle or whatever it is you're an idea, that does not exist tangibly in the real world. Thus, if I were to ask an empiricist to tell me or to show me white, all they could do is show me multiple things tangibly which share the same characteristic of the color white. Thus the example I aforementioned. Now, why is it ironic that you have here come forward and told me that, look, 
conflict doesn't exist in heaven. It's because you've e extrapolated a concept of co uh, conflict as per the, uh, the, uni the universe in which you live in and the experiences in which you had and the commonalities or the thread you've been able to put with all the things which you consider as conflict and you've superimposed that on another metaphysical thing Why which doesn't be, well, which no, you, no, no, no. hold on, hold on. Alex to your, Alex to your heaven it's yeah. so extremely exaggerated to say uh, well, are you understanding the, 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 about sex, so the point about is drinks, when you're using conflict, suddenly we have to, uh, what I'm saying when we use common noun no this is what Ibn Abbas said Ibn Abbas said the only thing which is similar between that which is in heaven and that which is in, he uh, in this world is the name therefore when you bring a concept like conflict which is as we said a universal and you try and superimpose it on the on heaven which is a metaphysical concept uh, construct which no one has seen except for we say the prophets from Muhammad in particular etc then what you're doing is you're you're applying a fallacy of some sort because really and truly it's, a fallacy, man. it's of course you're a fallacy now I'm not going to explain explain for going to heaven all their benefits or, or whatever you get in heaven is so earthly and it's so like consistent with what okay happening, right? as I said to you like before sex and money and drink so and what well, so, what? Yeah, so what? So what? Right. Let's say so what. It doesn't matter. But so how does that invalidate when it? When it comes to the fact that we may have some idea of a conflict, you say no, 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 no. That's just some sort of a, uh, you know. I'm telling you, the idea of conflict you've extrapolated from the world. I'm saying if we continue to have free will. And I, 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 Alex, I don't think you understand. I, I want to try and break it down. It's my fault that you don't understand. It's not your fault. Our ideas, our ideas that we understand. If I say the word love, yeah? Give me any abstract noun. Give me any abstract noun. Hate, love, give me another abstract noun. Anything you like, yeah? Disagreement, happiness, whatever. Okay, all of that which we can understand, all of that which these words can necessarily denote or connote, must explicit, explicitly relate to my experience or your experience. Yes or no? Okay, the Prophet told us explicitly that heaven no one has experience of this place now there are exceptions like we said for Muhammad etc but generally no one has, ex has experience now the point is if if you haven't got experience of heaven to speculate about the minutiae or the, the what happens the, you know the, the, the details is neither here nor there it doesn't mean anything for me do you understand what I'm saying so if you're saying my idea of desire okay. will be different okay, therefore, there. Therefore, we can conclude the fact that we are incapable of having any understanding of heaven. No, I didn't say any understanding. See, that's a straw man. When you look into it, that's what it comes to. Because, Alex, what I'm saying first, is... Hold on, we first begin with the premise that actually heaven is cool. You can have all these you know, pleasures and then suddenly it's, it's, it's all airplay, pleasures. But then you take it further that we actually don't know. We, 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 you know it's so complicated. It's, it's and not quite... I didn't say it's complicated. Look, well, it try, point, try and... Now, unless you've had experience... Later, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Unless you've had experience of it, you cannot say a word. Yeah, what I'm saying to you... Listen, very explicitly is what I'm saying, right? I'm explicitly telling you now that heaven is a place where we don't have any direct empirical experience with. You have no idea. Yes. Thank you. All right. Perfect. We have no idea. Yet, yet the descriptions, the descriptions, are meant to give us as much as as much as is humanly and earth in the dunya we be possible understanding of what exists there. Let me give you an example. Let me give you a. I know I've spoken of philosophical mumbo jumbo, mumbo jumbo. I'm going to try and break it down to the lowest common multiple once again. Listen, <laughs> if I were to tell you, if you were to meet someone, an Eskimo, I don't know if they exist in real life now. What they do? Okay, if I were to meet an Eskimo who's forever lived in an environment of snow, Never had a television set and always lived in an igloo. If that really, that, I've never seen an igloo in real life. And then I started to describe to the Eskimo, to the best of my possible ability, what sand is. I say, listen, I have language, he has language. I say, listen, sand is like snow, but actually it's a bit more grainy, you know? And I start trying to use as much hyperbole, as much adjectives, etc. as possible to explain what sand is. We cannot assume safely 
that that Eskimo is going to ever understand the experience of holding sand in his hand. Now, the same thing applies now. I'm, the Quran, it, it does the best job in describing in the only way it can to people that have had certain experiences of the world, what kind of pleasure they will get in heaven. And it does so by showing all of I mean, frankly, what is what's the most pleasurable? What's the most small print? There is small print that says. Oh, by the way, these are just um, kind of like analogies because you just. I didn't say they're meta. I didn't say they're metaphors. Okay, so, so there's no metaphoric kind of. No, I, no, I didn't say this. I said they are real. So why are you to tell me that the Quran is metaphorically? I'm not. I'm not saying it's metaphorical. Well, no, but but you're, it's either going to be explicit in what it says, or it's going to mean something else that you're. I'm saying it's real, but you can never comprehend it. Like Allah, He's real, but you can never. The Quran says that. you're going to go on the basis that you're going to read something that tells you something, and you're going to turn around and you're going to be able to comprehend it, then what bloody hell virtue is there in following the rest of it? Tell the, si tell the scientist that when he's now doing quantum mechanics. That's a far-fetched. No, it's not far-fetched. The only reason, the only reason why you consider it far-fetched, the only reason why you consider it far-fetched, is because when I use the word science, it's your God coming out now. So you have to defend him. I don't give a shit. No, type. If that's the case, if that's the case, if that's the case, your the, the same fallacy you're committing by saying because we don't understand something, we don't. It's not true. Or it's invalid. Or it's illogical. It's, no, it doesn't I exist. It, I just find it strange that when the God uh, had this opportunity to make it. That actually, by the way, little disclaimer here, it's a bit more than that than what you think. It requires someone like you to come at board and try to say, actually, Ali, you can't understand this. It's more than that. So what's the problem? The Prophet told us that. No, but it's your interpretation. No, the Prophet said. Because the the very clearly what does it say? Have you read the scriptures? No, but I've heard it from you, right? Okay, no, but it says no Quran. It, it, it says it says no Quran. It says mutashabih wa ghayr wa ghayr mutashabih, mushtabih wa ghayr mutashabih. It says that some things are going to be similar to what you've experienced, and some things are going to be completely dissimilar. That's Quran. In Surah Al. Um, Anam or Al Araf, chapter six or chapter seven. And if, if you, if you, for the same Eskimo example you gave, if you went to the North Pole and you saw a man uh, who has seventy virgins, who's living above some river, fruits, and he's having a great time, are you going to tell him you're in heaven? He's in heaven. No, man, I, we, we believe in a realm which is above and beyond the worldly realm. realm. He, doesn't, you can, he doesn't seek anything else. Heaven for he's us heaven. denotes a place which is an after-death experience. So he's not in heaven from our perspective. He's in the world that, you know. I think you also need to take into account the alternative to heaven according to Islam. Because you either have heaven, which is a really good You have hell. You have well. hell, which is a really bad, bad place. And you don't want to be in hell, you want you, to be in heaven. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but these That's are all earthly uh, mumble-jumble motivations. But how, but how do you I know? mean, why, for example, you know, what, yeah, that's a value judgment. What you haven't done, Alex? What? Thank you, Alex. What you what you have not done? There's so much It's not no no no. You can't say you haven't got a right to say it's inconsistent. You can say I'm not comfortable with it, which is what you said before. No problem. You can be not comfortable with something, which is true. You can be you could be deeply uncomfortable with the fact that one plus one plus one equals three and not one as a Christian. But it's true. Now, the point I'm making well, it's to you. It's important to be comfortable, no? Oh. Well, it's not always. It's important to be to you, You're a Muslim. That's not how we find out truth, no, by your comfort. Nobody just smacked the Quran in your face and said, you're Muslim, do as you're told. You read it, you decided, and you followed it, and you're exercising your free will. OK, so why is it? What you have, look, this is what we're talking about now. You, don't just go you can look, what you're doing here is fine. You're at peace. No, well, what you have a right to say is I don't feel comfortable, I don't like it, no problem. That's not, like that's, that's a subjective value judgment, you're entitled to it. I would say it's, it's neither here nor there. Everyone can be, I don't like, I don't like drink, I don't like certain drinks, no, but no the problem. the scheme of things matter to you committing to be, unless you're an absolute idiot. No. Unless you're um, like dick, you're going to need to exercise your free will or your virtue to be a Muslim. So at some point, you're going to actually think about it and actually think, ah, this makes sense to me. That's why I'm a Muslim. You don't no, but, you're, but what you're, your barometer for sense 
has not become a logical one, it's become a subjective value judgment on aesthetics and feelings and how you feel comfortable. Don't have free will. Your free will, you have, to, you have the ability to exercise your free will based on... No, but you're not, you're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. You don't make a value judgment on truth using how comfortable you feel with something. You can feel uncomfortable with the truth. It's a bad word. But we are generally talking about something that you... you and the Quran even says, no, but but You could hate something which is good for you. Why, why, why are you a Muslim? Why am I Muslim? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Maybe someone could get me a coffee before I can start this next one. No, it's very simple. You didn't just... The thesis of Islam is sense. most compelling to me from a logical compelling. perspective. Oh, logical? Yeah, rationally. So, yeah, so all these words, excellent. So, and also because I believe I'm predisposed to believe in a God. Oh, you're predisposed. So, so you're saying that some may not have that? No, everyone has this. Everyone has this. Okay, good. To God. But in your case, it's Islam, yes. right? So no, look, Islam is submission to God, right? Yeah, fine. Yeah. And hence, well, the fact that we've got different religions, everyone has their own kind of you know, logical reasoning or what makes them comfortable, right? Ultimately, you Who cares about what makes us comfortable and uncomfortable? No, but the fact is that you chose Islam, not just because of one random event. You, you're actually... Can you see me? Yeah, okay. But, but, but Alex, with respect, with, with, with respect to you, with respect to you, with respect to you, great respect, I know you, I like you, right? But what I was going to say to you is that you have not, unfortunately, been able to, you have not been able to, to, to put forward a consistent, logical case against any of the precepts of this. I was intrigued. Yeah, you don't need to. I was intrigued and I was more than happy to be convinced. I'm still left. No, but the reason why you have to explain is because of your desires, literally, because of what makes you comfortable. Yes, yes. When I look around, my desires are actually not as hot as some of It's exactly because, according to your own admission, it's because of your desires. It's very important to me. Your desire, and you know what's ironic? Let me, Alex, Alex, what makes you comfortable in this life? It's not about comfort. No, I'm, I'm asking you a person. I'm not. It's not about comfort. It's about the truth. Ultimately. Okay, now you're changing your tone. What do you mean told? Before you were saying oh, this about you, how we come to this, You said yourself, Go. when you read the text, when you read the scripture, you made some reasonable, logical reasoning. Those are the words you used. Yeah, yeah, I didn't and say come you're telling me, actually, I should, I should ignore... How do you come to a reasoning, logical reasoning, reasonable judgment? It needs to be some, some, some way, you know, to in agreement with your understanding, right? And if I no, can say, hey, that makes me comfortable, you can't tell me, oh, you have to ignore this comfort. Let me ask you a question. What makes you comfortable in life? It's not about comfortable, dude. No, I want to know. It's about, it's about what do you like to do? the truth. It's about the you know, truth. Alex, do you know what about the truth. Okay, fine, no, fine, no problem. For you, for others, it's about having virgins or sexual or some pleasure or conforming to a God that looks out to them, right? Let me ask you, you a question. Me, bro, bro, heaven, let's right? not pretend to be all righteous here. Right? Let think. Ask me, Let me, no, 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 no. You're all over the place, literally. You're literally all over the place. I've never spoken to someone very recently that's all over the place like this. I'm all over the place. Okay, but let me tell you something. Maybe I'm crazy. Yours? But hey, no, aren't no. there many of us who are all over the place? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, 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 all right. No, okay. finish. Go, go. Okay. Let me finish this video, right? Why I say you're all over the place? Clearly, in the beginning you said, I'm not comfortable. That's your reasoning. Your reasoning for not accepting heaven and hell as per the Islamic scriptures. You said, I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah, fine. You can have, you can have your problems with it. You can have your aesthetic value judgment. But I, I said to you before, your, your degree of comfortability does not necessitate falsity. It doesn't show that something is true or wrong. You said, I don't care, but that's how I feel. All right, no problem. We take a step back. My response to that is, when it suits you, in the, in the virtues of, you know, giving to charity and everything else, those, uh, those, those reasoning of what's good and bad matter. But when it comes to the fact that in heaven, certain values, like having sex with so many and then... What's wrong with that? ...free will, I should ignore that. Currently, with the values, I, that, with the values that you as a Muslim today... I, 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 I told you, you it's going to be different. Okay, let's, 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 break, let's break it down, make it simple. On earth today... Yeah, we are, we, we, we've been through this, man. We've been through this. Exploitation of others that don't but, have free will matter. But Alex, Alex, we've been through but this. But suddenly in heaven, it doesn't matter. So that, that's a... No, I didn't... That's not what... Look, Alex, please. You seem not to comprehend. Am I, am I, no, no, no. You, you're not comp no, you're not making sense because I said to you before that what you. Why do you not have 72 wives today? <laughs> okay, I can only have four. Because of the scripture, right? <laughs> that's, that's my maximum, right? But you know, according to the law, you can only have one. And, uh, these things. Yeah. 
Go ahead. No, look. And I'm guessing that women want to have 70 boys, young boys, you said. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> because when I asked... This guy's going from animals to boys. <laughs> he was talking about animals, <laughs> and now you're talking about... <laughs> when I asked you that yeah. men get 70 the virgins, what do women get? You get they, they get a bunch of boys? I didn't say they get a bunch of boys. What do they get? Uh, I, you've got... OK, uh, Alex, listen to me. Look at me, look at me. It's on, it's on the cameras. I feel like... The cameras, man. No, no, no. I don't even want to be on the I'm going to... No, no, no problem. What I'm going to give you a chance to do... Forget the cameras. You can recap what was already said. Because sometimes, I'm not saying I'm bad at this. I'm bad at giving explanations, all right? No problem. But if you listen to what I say twice or three times, you won't need me to keep repeating myself. So those issues we've dealt with. What I'm going to say to you is as follows, yeah? Forget about all of this. Forget about how comfortable you feel. Forget about these things. In a nutshell, heaven, according to Muslims, is a place where you get everything you want and you will not want that which you cannot have as per the morals of Islam. So you can't have sex with animals or, or children or whatever. Done. Hell is where you get an eternal punishment forever. Now, heaven and hell are the recompense, the ultimate recompense of peoples having gone through some kind of test in life and then being judged and assessed by the all-knowing, the all-wise, which we believe is God. That's the thing. Now, we don't know exactly what's in heaven or how it functions. I can't give you details. Know. Right. The Prophet told us that. But we do know some things which potentially we could expect, but it's, it's nothing that we can envisage in a full sense. Make sense? Yeah. Cool man. Great. Hi, yes. How are you doing? Um, How are you doing? me to keep repeating myself. So those issues we've dealt with. What I'm going to say to you is as follows, yeah? Forget about all of this. Forget about how comfortable you feel. Forget about these things. In a nutshell, heaven, according to Muslims, is a place where you get everything you want and you will not want that which you cannot have as per the morals of Islam. So you can't have sex with animals or children or whatever. Done. Hell is where you get an eternal punishment forever. Now, heaven and hell are the recompense, the ultimate recompense of...